Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome to World of Warcraft 9.1 Chains of Domination. In this series we'll be checking out all of Corthia and the Covenant campaign, playing through all the story quests and reading those, as well as doing our daily and weekly grind, fully exploring the City of Secrets, delving into Torghast, and basically checking out as much of the content and progression systems as we can here in the new patch. Just to set a baseline with what we're bringing into 9.1, our character is a Kyrian Paladin who has just hit level 40 renown as of two days ago. The Covenant campaign has been completed for a little while now, and we have some very basic gear, mostly LFR stuff. We also have a legendary helmet that we will need to recraft thanks to the new domination gear system. And basically I wasn't impressed at all or very interested in any of the endgame stuff in 9.0. I really hated the Maw. I found Torghast incredibly boring and uninspired, and it didn't seem to have its own progression loop, which would make me actually want to progress and do that content. And since I don't have a group for rating or for M+, my 9.0 experience was really short and pretty unrewarding. So I'm curious to see if anything has changed for enjoyable single player content and systems in 9.1. So without saying anything else, here we go. The first move. While the Covenants labor to defend the Shadowlands, we'll wait for the VO. While the Covenants labor to defend the Shadowlands, the Jailer has not sat idle within Torghast. It seems he intends to set the next phase of his scheme into motion. Polmark Adrestes has brought us disturbing news from the Elysian Hold. He will recount what he witnessed once you arrive. Make haste. I fear that time grows short. Alright, let's adjust some of the sounds here. I noticed the VO was really low. Let's do that. Sound can go down. Music can come up. Somewhere around there should be good. Let me know you guys about the sound settings if anything needs to be adjusted going forward. We will do that. And we need to speak with him. He's in Oribos, so where is he at? Uh, on the first floor. Let's head down. That sounded like no sound effects whatsoever. There we go. That's a little bit better. Adrestes, this cannot be! Alright, it's the pole mark we need to speak with. Wisdom guide your Despite all our efforts, the Maw continues to grow. What if Denathrius's treachery is irreparable? The Primus is lost, and Bastion cannot save the Shadowlands alone. None of this should have happened. Perhaps the Winter Queen could... My Archon, a living soul, seeks an audience. A mortal? A king. By all our measures, one who has spent his life striving for justice. One who would give anything to serve his people. One whose heart is true. Very well. He may approach. Step forward. My Ascended have spoken of you. The King held captive in the Maw. That prison could not hold me forever. Why have you come to Bastion? You have a key that I need. You will release this soul from your grasp. No. He is bound to me, just as you once sought to buy your own brother.
vessel performed its part flawlessly. Three keys remain. Then they will see. Death was never meant to be changed. All right, so yeah, most of us have seen that cutscene, but that's fine to go ahead and give us a little bit of a refresher and remind us that that's exactly the point where we are now picking up, even though we saw the cutscene months ago. There is much to be done. Anduin, now the Jailer's Pawn. We must take immediate action. It is time for the Covenants to convene. I fear we shall days, convene in the Arbiter's Chamber. Our next course of action must be decided. Yeah, I feel like those VOs could be just a little bit louder even. There we go. Trust in the purpose. Though the jailer remains confined to the Maw, his cruelty extends beyond the bounds of his prison. Thankfully, the Archon is recovering from the attack. Though I am told her wound has an unsettling quality. The Eternal Ones and their allies await you and Highlord Fordragon in the Arbiter's Chamber. I shall open the way. All will be judged. Fair. We are ready. What news? Both our peers at the grand figures before him, at the numberless gateways stretching out into the ether. This chamber is truly wondrous. Yet there is no time to be awestruck. The honored voice must begin this meeting at once. Fight for Azeroth. What news do you bring? In the Arbiter's name, we answer the call of the Eternal Ones. This brazen attack on Bastion must be answered. Has your wound healed, Gerestia? No. But that is of little consequence compared to what was stolen. What was the Jailer after? Long ago, each of the Eternal Ones was given a symbol of our Covenant's purpose. Yet Zoval saw these sigils as keys to forbidden knowledge. When we rebuked his heresy, he tried to claim them by force. But in the end, the Primus led us to victory. And for his treachery, Zoval was exiled forevermore. Yet even bound to the Moor, he found allies to aid his cause. No doubt Sire Denathrius willingly offered his sigil to the Banished One. We have found no such sigil within the sanctum of the Primus. The essence of the Arbiter remains here. It must be protected. The Ebon Blade will help defend the Eternal City. But this will not be the Jailer's only target. No. Even now, his malevolence encroaches upon my groves. The Necrolords will drive these invaders from Ardenweald. The Venthyr will fight beside your army, Straka. We will rally the Covenant's forces and make our stand. Let it be so. With her voice have I spoken. Come forth and be charged. You could probably use a little help, huh? The Winter Queen must be the Jailer's next target. We must do all we can to protect her, and I have a few ideas how we can do that. So we are headed to Ardenweald, it seems. With the betrayal of Sire Denathrius and the absence of the Primus of Maldraxxus, we must assume that the Winter Queen is the Jailer's next target, and we won't let anyone take her sigil. Ardenweald has endured much, but it is a realm of great and mysterious power. Things aren't always what they seem. We'll use this to our advantage, no matter who comes for the Queen. Uh, what are we going to get here? Some level 187 gear. 
Uh, yeah, not bad. Always a pleasure. Both Ardenweald and Oribos could come under assault. Darien, the Ebon Blade must protect the city. We will see it done. Bane and I will aid them. We won't let the Jailer claim the Arbiter's sigil. I'm going to Ardenweald with you, Bolvar. If there is even a chance to save Anduin. I understand, Jaina. We depart at once. Sometimes I really wish all the instant, all the really important story quests were instanced off so that I could take the quest and watch the roleplay play out without a million other players basically blocking all the NPCs. Good times. Alright, look at this. Looks really bad up there. Doesn't look normal, that's for sure. Spoiler alert, there's going to be a battle when we land. Sylvanas Windrunner herself is leading the Mossworn attack. We can't let her steal our Covenant Sigil! Several Night Fae have volunteered to disguise themselves as the Winter Queen. These decoys will scatter across the forest to misdirect the Banshee. That should keep her occupied until the Wild Hunt can push back the Mossworn and focus their efforts on her. I just hope it's enough. Winter Queen will be protecting the heart of the forest. It's up to us to stop the invaders. The ruse will only distract them for so long. We must end this All battle swiftly. Forces forward! Find the Winter Queen so I can claim that sigil. Wild Hunt! We ride! They already fill the skies. What a beautiful realm! <gasps> But where's all the slime? Not to worry, I can rectify this. Alright, so we're going to come down here, we're going to fight Mossworn, and we're going to close portals, and we're going to heal good guys. Oh, I can already see that we are still having ability lag. And yeah, the really bad thing about the ability lag is it stops your abilities from hitting the enemies, but it doesn't do a darn thing to stop their abilities from hitting you. Let's adjust a couple of settings really quick here. There we go. Look, this guy's stuck in the ground. That's probably okay. It's always really hard going into a launch day. You kind of expect there to be a bunch of problems, but you also hope that you'll get to enjoy the game in some way when you've waited so long for it to come out. And it's just about balancing expectations against reality, I guess. So far, the reality of today was that I was really excited to finally have some stuff to do in retail WoW that I thought I might like. I have been liking the small part I've been able to complete. I'm hoping that this will be the time we can complete this scenario and see Corthia proper. It's kind of been an all day ongoing thing for me.
and I'd consider just shelving it till tomorrow and coming back to it in the morning, but I kind of want to get to the daily quest. See what those are like and get that going. And I am aware that Blizzard was having DDoS attacks uh, against their servers, so that probably accounts for most, if not all, of the problems people have experienced today. If you have had trouble staying connected or with latency as I have, it's probably because of those attacks, which seem to be just the common thing that happens now anytime Blizzard launches a patch or a game. It's just a reality that we have to live with. Yeah, see, that's not good. When we press judgment, we kind of need it to fire when we press it. We can't have it going off half a minute later. That's not going to help us defeat enemies. has been spotted near the falls. Now is our chance to strike her down. An illusion. So the Winter Queen sends her loyal subjects to die in her place. You know nothing of loyalty, Banshee. It is you who knows nothing, Faye. You cannot stop what is to come. Maybe not, but we can judge you. Azeroth's hero has come to play. You will fail yet again. Hold on, I've got you. To the skies! Strike at the heart! <sighs> After her! And now we have the traditional Blizzard Vehicle segment where we slam a single button. And um, I've, been, I've been wondering every time I've done this one why they're not fighting back. They're just kind of being really easy targets. Servants of the Maw! Oh, Dret! I'm all out of slimes! 
I must remember to bring more next time. No! She was the last decoy. You are willing to sacrifice your servants, but what of the spirits in your charge? They're taking the wild seeds, Mawaker. We must stop them. Oh, we're already on it. Well, you guys are way back there. And guys, if I haven't mentioned it already, I'm probably going to be doing a lot less commentary during this, at least this, these first couple of episodes. Partially because, like I said, I've already been through this, attempting it three times. Uh, the other reason is, as we get into new stuff, I'm going to want to be just fully immersed and totally paying attention to what's going on. And so yeah, I'll probably be talking less than usual for those of you who are familiar uh, with my other content. And there's some amazing sound and amazing music going on, so much better than listening to me anyway. Surrender your sigil, or the wild seeds will perish. A hollow threat from an empty soul. The Moss won't gather for a final assault. All forces, rally to me! I do find that statement really interesting. An empty soul. Now, is that because Sylvanas' soul has been split from when she was originally killed by a Mornblade? The good part of her soul is probably somewhere else. And maybe this Sylvanas we've known all these years is not Ranger General Sylvanas at all. But just some hollow facsimile. This was the phase that I never got past, so we're going to complete this phase and go into the last phase. And the last phase basically kept lagging out completely. And then when you'd log back in, you'd be in Ouroboros and you'd have to redo all the events. So I have my fingers crossed here that we'll be able to clear the last phase of this encounter. Get a good look at Sylvanas here and what she's doing. Get 
Okay, she's opening a portal. Probably not a great idea. This is good that they're doing stuff. Before they were just standing there, so yeah, this is looking good. Progress, progress. Very nice. Alright, well that looks pretty tough and it's an elite, so let's finish this guy off and go take care of that big one. Kind of glad I moved out of the way there. There's our backup. Once again, she denies you victory. Mother Moon, don't 
do not forsake me. End this! Bask in the dying embers of your goddess's bargain, Tyrande. Nothing lasts. Tyrande, can you hear me? Tyrande? Wow. So, yeah, that was all incredible. Uh, what to talk about there? I like how Tyrande became more Night Warrior-ish as the combat went on, almost like it was consuming her. That was cool. Why did it fade? Why did, why did the power suddenly fade right on the verge of victory? Is it just a mechanic for storytelling? Because obviously we couldn't have Sylvanas be taken out there. Uh, what is the purpose of it? You're a special one, aren't you? Well, let's take the two-handed mace, shall we? That'll be a little bit of an upgrade for our poor little undergeared paladin. Rest, my dear one. Fall gently into dreamless. That life. Sylvanas and her Mosshorn dealt with we for Oh, let's wait for the, the VO. Queen. I pray she was able to safeguard the wild seeds. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's the problem with having like quests that are walls of text and then also trying to do VO is that, you know, you have two things going on at once that's trying to convey the same thing. That's Sylvanas and her Mossworn dealt with for now, but we need to hurry and make sure that the Queen and her sigil are safe. The Winter Queen was just outside the heart of the forest protecting the stolen wild seeds from the Maw. Always a pleasure. Yeah, I'm sure she's going to be perfectly fine. It's really interesting that, you know, we kind of speculated that Sylvanas had no idea that Nathanos had been killed. And yeah, that definitely reinforces that the Jailer is not telling her everything. We kind of knew that already, but she didn't seem to know that. Or maybe she just didn't want to accept it. Our sacred charge remains of all dead to threaten the souls in my charge. I have made reply. Speak, and the Arden Wheel depends on the cycle. Without these spirits, what purpose would there be? I could not let the Jailer's forces destroy what we have fought so hard to protect. I hid my sigil in the heart of the forest to keep it safe from the forces of the Maw, but the Horn has called for aid. You and your allies go and see what has prompted the call. The I concealed my sigil within the heart of the forest, where it could be best protected. But our enemies are cunning. Go, ensure that it remains safe. And there we go again, the voiceover just saying basically exactly what the quest text did. I wish that when there was going to be VO, that the quest log just gave us uh, the objective and didn't have any of the, the character text. Let the, let the character speak it out. If it's going to be voice acted, let it be voice acted. If it's going to be a wall of text, let it be a wall of text. I fear we may be too late. Well, Bolvar, then why are you just standing here? Why are you not in there? Resist him! Do not let the Jailer win! We will save you, Anduin. No matter what it takes. Okay, and then there's that. Are we just are we just returning? We're just running back. I 
I grant you an audience, mortal. Ardenweald has withstood the unrelenting forces of the Maul, but it was still not enough. Return to our allies in Oribos. There must be an answer for this loss and action taken. Return to Talinara in Oribos. Despite the courage shown by the Covenants defending Ardenweald, Zuval has claimed the prize he sought. There is nothing more to be done here. Return to Oribos, mortal. Your deeds this day will be remembered in the rings. The deeds of being too late. Always too late. a counterattack before the Maw Sworn can strike again. Bulba, well, how did you beat us back here? You unable to return from the Maw if you entered there. But perhaps there is another way. Come forth and be judged. The Jailer has begun his attack on Oribos. What I have feared the most has come to pass. Is he attacking Oribos now? I... With her voice have I spoken. The Jailer has gained another sigil, and his forces actively assault Oribos. Bolvar Fordragon and Draka of Maldraxxus suggest taking the fight to the Jailer. To do so, we need a way for their forces to safely come and go from the Maw. This was considered impossible before you arrived, but now I believe we have a chance. I must examine your anima to see if this is truly what the purpose wills. Until we speak again. Ah, uh, we are prepared for you to examine our anima. Oh will be judged fairly. Fate scribe Rotal has sensed the emergence of a second waystone within the Maw, though he does not know its location. Your anima awakened the first waystone. It has allowed you to lead some of your allies to safety. I will create an anchor to your anima here in Oribos. Activating the second waystone should connect it to my anchor. I believe this bond will enable our covenant forces to leave the Maw. Just as you can do. As simple as that. Okay then. Now we are all Maw Walkers. The Fate Scribe is certain that a second waystone has emerged in the Maw. It falls to you to locate it. I will create an anchor here in or- Okay, we, you just told us all this. Literally just told us everything we needed to know. Use what resources you have within the mall to find the waystone. Okay. Bless I will create the anchor. Go now and find the waystone. Purpose guide us all. We will defend Oribos from the Jailer's forces. Hurry oh, we're not done. Walker. The enemy's strength is growing. Yeah, they really need to work on the um, staging of the dialogue. Well, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts. I'm going to save my thoughts for another time and place. And we're just going to keep going. When you would show up, you do not. The jailer has used enormous chains to pull a broken realm into the maw. 
I could only a glimpse, but I have a suspicion of what it might be. I suggest we travel there together. While you search for your waystone, I will determine what potential profits lie in store. For both of us, I mean. Ah, my new partner. Let us see how long you last. The Maw is changing, mortal, and with change comes opportunity. The Jellers pull the realm that was hidden deep within the Shadowlands into the Maw. It is a location of some interest to me, but I do not wish to approach it alone. The Maw Sworn are swarming the area, you see. There must be something of value that they seek. I have a safe enclave nearby. Accompany me there, and I may be able to help you find that waystone you're looking for. Do we have a deal? Discover me. I possess a device that will take us to a safe enclave near this landmass. Once we arrive... It is imperative that you stay close. Okay, we're ready. I trust you are not followed. Do not draw the jailer's eye. Oh, we're going down here. Okay. Anima flow teleporter. Reports I intercepted from the Morsworn indicate that the Jailer has been seeking a realm called Corthia. My fellow brokers whispered legends of this place, a magnificent city filled with treasures, its location a closely guarded secret. Be on alert. No doubt the Jailer's eye will be upon this place. I have the means to keep us hidden, as I have before. Stay close, and obey my every word, lest the Jailer's eye reduce you to Stygia. Find anything of interest, Moorwalker? We will be uncomfortably close to the Jailer's forces. Stay near me. Stay close, more walker. It seems the eye cannot peer into Corthia. Our search must proceed without it. No matter. The banished one shall have his prize. There must be strong magic in Corthia if it keeps the eye at bay. Perhaps the legends are true. Stay close, more walker. Do you feel the more staring at your mind? All right, Venari, are we good to go? All mysteries will be revealed. Stay close, more walker. Okay. So. Have you 
you come to trade or to waste your breath? Stay close, more walker. Stay close, more walker. Kind of thinking the quest is bugged out, but we'll give it another minute here. Stay close, more walker. Had to die and do the walk again to get us to move forward. Since Corthia is shielded against the eye of the Jailer, but his Morsworns are breaching its defenses. We made it. Imagine the wonders to be found here, Morwalker. Oh, and that waystone of yours as well. All mysteries will be revealed. The Jailer desperately wants something here, yet his precious eye cannot breach its defenses. Procure something of value. Corthia, the City of Secrets. We are on the threshold of attaining our desires, Mawalker. Your Grand Waystone cannot be far off. Of course, my needs are much more modest. A bit of useful information here, a priceless relic there. I will survey the area to see if there is anything useful or hazardous nearby. Then we can proceed. Ha have Venari scan the area. Will that be all? I could, like, walk walker. around the area and, like, explore, you know, like you might do in a game world. I could do that. No, we're not. Okay, scan the area. Trust not what you see in the moon. Hmm. Now that is interesting. I detect attendants nearby, like those in Oribus. Perhaps they are the caretakers of Corthia's treasures. You go on ahead. I will linger here, to ensure no enemies have trailed us, of course. Alright, now we're going to do the walking around bit. Our patrols. We cannot let the Moss Worn reach another of the jailer's agents. Strike them down. Hold. This is a living mortal, the Moorwalker, not some servant of the jailer. A Moorwalker? Fascinating. I have studied the prophecies, but. Oh, forgive me. I am Talgalan. Keeper of Secrets. I remember you. Come, we have much to discuss. So this is Corthia. Hmm. I expected something a bit more... grand. You should have seen it in its prime, Broker. Corthia is, or oh, was, the City of Secrets. My order was charged with safeguarding knowledge and artifacts. 
things deemed too precious to risk falling into malicious hands. Corthia was hidden deep within the in-between, safely out of reach, until the Jailer's chains found us. The Banished One seeks our most precious treasure and is willing to destroy our entire existence to claim it. There is much to be done. Corthian prophecies foretell the arrival of a mall walker who can save us from disaster. Perhaps this is that day, but perhaps not. I must test your anima to verify your claim. If you speak the truth, then I have a solemn duty to empower your anima before we proceed. Be well. Let's go ahead and do another blood test. Two in one go day? With the Might as well. My knowledge is purely academic. I must explore your anima to learn more. Oh, still. Ah, yes. You have a connection to a unique world soul, as it was foretold. But has that prepared you for what is to come? We must find out. Stop this ridiculous investigation before you kill the only one who can help you. The scroll specified that the true Maw Walker must be empowered. It is my duty to proceed. Release the Maw Walker at once, or suffer the consequences. It is true. You are the Maw Walker. And now your anima is stronger than ever. We of Corthia are at your service. And now he's going to cast on us the true Maw Walker. The power of the Maw is fully awoken within you. Your mounts can now hear your call in the Maw. And you can freely enter the Beast Warrens and Perdition Hold. There is so much to learn. Well, there we go, guys. We can mount up in the Maw. What news do you bring? Opening to Ouroboros, the prophecies told us that one day this dormant waystone would be needed by, the, by a Maw Walker, and that it would prove crucial to the fate of the Shadowlands. It seems that day has come. Draw upon the anima within you to activate this waystone. It will then be usable by all who aid your cause. If, as you say, Talinara has created an anchor in Ouroboros, then that anchor will bring you back to us. Go, inform your allies that the Maw awaits, and that Corthia needs their help. Go with the purpose. I think it's best to remain concealed while you activate this waystone. Remember, Moor Walker, our business is not yet. Hmm, so she's going to stay hidden from everybody. Interesting. The Maw Walker returns. The second waystone has Whoa. been found. Fine work, Maw Walker. They gathered everybody. We stand together. Well done. I am eager to learn of this realm pulled into the Maw. It is time to begin our assault on the Jailer's forces. Thanks to the efforts of you and other heroes of Azeroth, the Covenants have grown strong, but we can no longer afford to wait for the Jailer to make his next move. The way to the Maw is open. Our forces stand ready. The Covenants await your signal. Alright, there we go. Commanding shout. I mean, rallying. Farewell, Bolvar Four Dragon. May the purpose guide you. Goodbye, Talinara. The Ebon Blade will defend Ouroboros until we return. Alright, and we're following them back.
Bulva for Dragon. I saw your visage within the streams of the Morwalker's anima. Weird. Good. Then there's no need for introductions. <laughs> We've come to push back against the uh, jealous forces. Of course there's not. You have my thanks. The Marswarm seek to plunder our secrets. Alright guys, I think we're going to take a break here. This was probably a little bit of a longer episode, but this was our introduction to Corthia. This is how we get here. Uh, from here, I guess we'll further explore the story, start doing dailies, and finding secrets hopefully, getting some resources for endgame stuff. Should be a good time. Uh, it was an interesting opening scenario. It was interesting. I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on it, and if you're, especially if you're actively playing the game. What do you think so far? No spoilers if you're further ahead in the story. Um, assume that I'm not. So yeah, but yeah, very fun so far. We'll see where it goes from here. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate all the support. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Corthia really soon. Bye now. <laughs>